Right. In this video, I'm going to be explaining my every thought process and help help you guys, um, especially when you're solo queue, make better decisions and help you guys win more games. So, this slight setup you're going to be doing right now, you can do it with any operator, but normally you want to reinforce off both these freezer walls. Some teams like having it open, but especially in a solo queue environment, it's, it can honestly, if you don't know what the holes are going to do, it's going to hurt your team more. Um, then like actually help them. But yeah, I'm opening up like people like to crouch in between here. You can also uh, show the default. That way people can be safe around these areas. Yeah, these will be easy kills. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my... Oh, what the f... Okay. Uh, M1 ADS Pixel Jaeger. I'm going to put my show Pixel. I don't really know what that shop should was. I hear someone going there. What the? Yo, on on white window repel. Yo, what is this Amaru doing, man? All right, well I got my frag. <laughs> this only happens in rank, bro. Red wall is open. But yeah, like things like that, it's just gonna happen. Dumb plays like that, not much you can do about that. Like I got my kill, I'm happy. Like the way my team is set up, I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yeah, just always making sure you're going on one drone on new hatch coming. Uh, oh my, can you get the drone on the new hatch? Is my mic not working, game? Nice. I don't think my mic is working. But yeah, looks like we already won this round. I'm just gonna... Wait, is my mic working? I don't think it is. What up, devil? Alright, well... This is a little unfortunate. I think my mic doesn't work. Well, I don't think I can call out anymore, so that's a little bit of pain. Or, um, I'm asking, like, in-game. Like, he's on new hatch. It's a Finca. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't peek. It's an LMG. Dude, this guy needs to stop peeking, bro. Ooh, this Jaeger's in a, a similar... Kind of a weird situation for him to be in. Wow. This is a 4v2, by the way. He wins these, though. What up, Citric? I've been doing good, man. Nice. Testing, testing. Is it working? It works, right? Huh. Super quiet. But yeah. Okay. Uh okay, let me actually fix that. Um but yeah, now we're going kitchen prep. I'm gonna go Cade. Can't go wrong. Cade Cade's a good anchor. Um, but yeah, Kade is, if, if Kade's on the board, you most likely want to bring him just because he is very hard to deal with if you don't bring the right stuff on this map. Um, why is my mic so quiet? I don't understand. Testing, testing. Okay. Uh, let's see how this works. All right, how does this sound now? The same, still the same? I'm assuming it sounds the same. I don't know, my, my game chat mic has been so quiet lately. I don't really know why. How does one get to CL and go to PL? To get CL, you have to do public qualifiers. If you want to get a pro league, you have to be on top of CL and beat the, the, the bottom PL team. 
Everything's broken up to seasons of brackets, so. Uh, this is, you know, always do this gate claw. Always put on the vent right here that we are able to get both of them. And sometimes they even dodge grenades and cowies if you do that. Um, this last cade is honestly personal preference. You could either pocket it for the main wall, but it looks like Warden, we invested a lot of utility into this area. So I might as well hold on to it for now. And in case you're hitting a backside tick. Oh my god, he's sludging the fucking freezer. We didn't reinforce freezer, bro. He might still- I think we killed him. Okay, well. <laughs> I was gonna say we can put the cankle on Fraser, but... We didn't even reinforce it. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna give it up. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna- I think I did this, but we need to reinforce this red wall here. Like I said, like, Kate is super strong with this bomb site. Now, I'm gonna position- yeah, we have 5v2, like, we're kinda crushing these guys. I'm just gonna still keep my man count. Even though I am in a 5v2. We saw what happened last- Last bakery. bakery. Like, we had a 5v2- or 4v2 and we still threw, like, no, oh, yeah, that guy's just giving up his life. I'm just gonna hold this tight angle. For when he comes in on me. He's still bakery. Got a yeet. Nice. Alright, yeah, but... Just keep in mind, even though you do have man advantage, it's never 100% winning the round yet. But yeah, like, I have a really good team right now, honestly. There's just, like, little to no error going on. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick Alibi. Uh, I see a lot of people, like, playing reading. If you go on reading site, I think you should, like, bare minimum, like, you should only have like maybe like two or three people on site, but then you should have the rest of, of the three off site, you know, contesting because it's such a big map that you can you can waste a lot of time by roaming up top, warming in like mining or pillar area. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to roam up top. That way the enemy doesn't have that much map control and I'm able to hold on to bomb site a little better. Because the main idea of holding up top is that you don't want to get map control quickly and you don't want to get a vertical above the, the bomb site. So these reinforcements I'm doing are just, you know, bare minimum of uh, a cocktail hold. I'm going to start over by uh, pixel area and just, you know, shoot some drones. But on a, on a large bomb site like this, where like players are more spread out, the more drones you can collect are like pretty good. But yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, put my Prismas anywhere. You could, like, do this. You could punch a hole there and make him shoot it. Look at that, like, got a drone. Also, you see me shooting at the windows. This means I'm trying to get the glass off the windows. That way I can hear people repelling in and all that kind of stuff. Oh my god, that was someone shooting at me, bro. finish that for you. It's a freaking glass, bro. There's still a glass in that repel. What? Oh, I traded. Uh, I traded with a glass. Okay, I was about to say, bro, like, if I lost that, I was about to say, bro. Wait, I got a little caught up right there. This is commentary for a video? Yeah. Not bad. I got, uh, I got, I got Glaz, which is not the best pick, but at least it's a person off the board. And now we're in a 2v2 situation. I could have done it a little bit better. But I'm gonna be honest, I was a little, I was a little distracted there by the, the Goyo, but... Good. Alright. Yeah. I mean. 
very crucial that you always get on cams. You never know. Someone can sneak up white. Sneak up red 90 here. But yeah, I mean, we're too well right now. I'm not the most worried. I think we're good here. Yeah, I, I like doing... Pretty sure he just dropped laundry hatch, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, I think he dropped the hatch. I think he's in sight right now. I could be wrong, though. It really sounded like he dropped. Drop laundry. Alright, I think my team's in a good spot here. He's still in laundry, I think. This guy on the roof? This guy's on the roof. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> Damn. Kind of tossed that pretty hard. Oh wait, they had the the diffuser was on the roof. That's why. Wow. Kind of just threw that, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, that was questionable, but it's all right. What a panda. All right, not a, not a bad defense half. I mean, we kind of trolled the last round by uh, giving them too many picks, but it's okay. We got 2-1 on defense, which is actually pretty good on a defender side of the map like Cafe, especially when I'm solo queuing, but I have some pretty good teammates. I'm not too worried. Um... This right here, on attacking, if you don't really know who to go, I would recommend you just bring someone with like Soft Breach or a Hard Breacher because there's a lot of utility that you need to clear on this map depending on the team you go up against. I mean, like a lot of Soft Walls too. And I mean, there's a, you can open up a Hard Breaching device or Hard Breaching Wall on like almost every bump site here. Especially for a Kitchen. If you don't have a Hard Breacher on a Kitchen, this can be really hard. Unless you get like a lot of kills. Uh, red ping and kitchen means they're most likely down here. Yeah, they are. Okay, they are kitchen. I'm gonna go to a maverick. Maybe a nomad for the flank. That's fine. I'm gonna bring maverick though because they have Cade. And maverick is a direct counter to Cade. I think I just need to be careful. Because... Yeah, I have like... Cheddar is saying in chat right now that we need to hit Baker, which is exactly what we need to do. The only thing that can be hard here is if we spread out. If we spread out here, then the Baker attack is kind of scuffed. Once playing on the prep door, we need we need to get this K claw off the wall. If anything, I just need an entry off of this. I need someone to entry. I can't I can't be the entry going in. I want to wait for these guys, but I might just have to take this guy head on. Alright, well. I want, I have to win this gunfight. Okay. I have to win this gunfight here. Even though I'm Maverick. I'm just going to have to win it. Wait, no one's behind the bakery. Okay. Alright, we're clear to go in then. I saw. Right, I'm gonna make head holes for prep here, and I'm gonna just nade the stuff off the wall for um for ace. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a grenade here. Hopefully, I get the K claw. I did get the K claw. Go for the wall. All right. While he goes for the wall, can you get the wall open, ace? All right. Now I need to watch prep for my teammate. This is kind of a risky angle here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get out of here actually. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I try to bait my picks here. Okay. This is kind of a weird angle to be here. I need to just get a pick here, honestly. 
Oh, this is such a hard position to be in. I have to just get two kills right here. He's prone right now. Got bandit. I need you to entry in in a second. Brown, brown, brown stairs are on a brown. Oh, this is such a screwed situation. I just, I have teammates across the map that are just not helping me. Uh, there's only so much I can really do on that breach right there, but I just have to work my picks, you know. Is that, that's why it's so hard to, I think on a kitchen attack as well, like you can't have people split up if you don't even have like the coordination to do that. Like me and Ace were the only people, like me, me having to entry in as Maverick is like, I'm the most important operator in that lineup, but it is what it is. Um, we got two to split. We can still bring it back here. I'm not too worried about that, but you know, that is a uh, pretty round costing. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go Finka now. I don't really need to bring any, I can always just six pick or uh, attack repick to anybody I need to go, but they're going to go either reading or top floor now. On a top floor bomb site, you need at least one heart breacher sometimes. You don't even need him one, like, at all sometimes, too. It's just, it's easier if you get the red wall open. But if you don't get the red wall open, you need to clear pixel shield. You need to make sure you have control of new balcony because aggressive players are going to swing that. And that's where you can kind of get your freebies there. Um, yeah, the top floor now. Zofia is a good pick here if you want to go. Ayana is good. Floors is good. I think nobody's bringing heart breaching gadget. I'm not going to run a heart breacher. Uh, actually, I might. You know what? I'm going to see how we do it. I don't think we'll need it. I'm going to bring Finca just for like the, the gun and the boost. And I have a lot of utility that I can use to clear. Yo, Vinny with the tier one. Thank you, man. And Justin with the 100 bits. I hey, appreciate it, guys. I'll uh, read all chat and everything else after this game. But thank you guys for the subs and the bits. All right. I am going to set up. This is what I normally do a lot, especially when I'm solo queuing is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this window right here is very, very strong. We'll go to HUD, open that up. So it looks like Buck's actually already getting a flank cam down there. Can you get the uh, hatches open, Buck? I need to be aware of my run out though. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this for a free kill. All right. I think I just saw Mira. Is Mira on the board? No, Mira's banned. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Some Malusi actually free kill right here. Malusi dead. That was a free kill because that guy's just he's in a very open spot. I see this zombie. I'm gonna go an upside repel to change off my angle. Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and hold this angle here. Shit. Hopefully I can bait his aggression and get a free kill here. I have a lot of time, but there's no reason for me to rush. I'm gonna go and boost up for my teammate. I could just repel in here and get a closer angle. It looks like he's not going to peek right now, so... I'm going to go ahead and drone out my area. Nobody's piano. Okay, I know one's definitely pixel. Okay, they got BP there. Jaeger's actually new right now. I'm going to go and repel in. I'm going to try to get a kill on this Jaeger. close there. You just, I don't know why he's playing in that corner right there. What? Dude, yo, this guy just hit fire headshot me, man. Come on. Uh, I needed to, uh, I didn't expect him to back up in that corner. I thought he would run away to freezer for like more cover there, but I don't know. He just, it's also really hard when I have teammates dying very quickly right there. Um, 
But yeah, that that BP on heaven. Uh, we don't have hatches open. We don't have uh, any walls open. Not a lot of utilities cleared. And it's really hard to do it all by myself. Like if I wanted to, I could have gone like a sledge or something. But it's just there's only so much that I can do. Um. Honestly, I think it would probably been better if I went sledge. That way I can like we have a buck, but he's not opening up patches either. Uh, they're gonna go reading now. Now this is kind of like similar to the like coastline now because it's gonna be a TDM fest. It's gonna be like who can get the most kills this round. Um, if I'm more looking for kills. Definitely gonna pick like the F two or something, dude. Honestly, I'll I'll six I'll six pick the something in a second. But yeah, the, this, if we want to win this, we need to win this attack and then, you know, obviously move on to the next. But how our, atta our attacks have been pretty mediocre compared to our defenses. Um, top downs normally are honestly go pretty, don't go the best. I'm honestly going to go basement up. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to bring out this guy and bring out knock. I'm going to pre-place cam down here for any people that come down here. But this right here is a high risk, high reward kind of type of thing I'm doing. Um, I don't want to go top down. I feel like it's where everybody's going to be. And it's going to cause, it's just going to cause too much emotion or commotion. Like as compared to our last take, I'm just going to go down here and just frag out. That's really it. They're a castle. They actually, did this castle have mining bro? There's no way. Watch for the spawn peaks. All right, we gotta be careful coming down here. I don't hear anybody down here. I don't hear anybody down here. My red's looking fine. Okay, they didn't cast me off. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to crouch up here. See if I can try to get a kill. That's just such bad timing. I'm gonna go ahead and go through a different basement. And yeah, I'm gonna go through somewhere else here. Alright, I'm just gonna stay in the basement here for a second. I'm gonna use my other drone as well. It's just the reason I backed out of that situation, I feel like it was an overcommitment. This is also a high risk type. Smokes, yeah, smokes in C1. I'm gonna go get a kill of smoke. Smoke dead. I'm gonna rush into sight just because it's a lot, you know, a lot of commotion going on. If we can get white control, okay, one's are reading and then I'm on, I heard one in reading, right? I can walk in a Reading, reading dead. Last one could be anywhere. I'm just gonna start pre firing now. I'm gonna walk through this gate, take the damage. He's in laundry. Um, but yeah, rec recognizing when to pull out of red is really important. That way I don't overcommit because I'm still knock. I still have drones. I can reset like my uh, my push. So I choose brown or white instead. Um, because you know they might not expect me to go there. Uh, we won. He went up top pretty well. I'm just gonna go high. Uh, but I see my team is like a 5v3. I see that the smoke has no idea where my drone is. I have the information on the smoke. My team's pushing up fast, so I'm gonna match my pacing to my team. That way we move more fast. And then I kill a smoke. And then I immediately just start hitting sight now. Because in a, in a 2v5 situation, especially when everyone is dying, the people in sight are just gonna scramble and they're just gonna run everywhere. Now you can actually use that to your advantage and they're gonna just gonna run right into your crosshair. And then that meat was trying to get aggressive on me. I just pre-fire him, I kill him, and then you know, I kill the last guy just off of uh gun skill. But yeah, just really really knowing when to match your team's aggression. Because when you move as a team, the people that work together as a team is always gonna be the, the winning team. Rather than just like five solo solo shikos, you know, everywhere. <laughs> that makes any sense. Another drone? I heard that, bro. What the heck? That was so weird. I think we got all the drones. 
Um, all, we got all the reinforcements here. We need to rotate. If we can rotate here. I'll make the rotate as well. Just trying to fill in everything as much as I can. Uh, can you make the rotate right here instead? Yeah, I don't want the rotate on this side just because it's it's more exposed. Oh, he made it up as well. Okay. <sighs> nice picks. I'm just gonna set up the same as way. I'm gonna play my pixel shield. One's on the white window hall window. Nice pick. Alright, I'm just gonna play this pixel shield just to mainly keep control of cigar. Gotta be careful with my windows and also my AC window. Getting red wall open and one drop red. So one just drop red. I could have to I, I just need to find the right time to get aggressive, but I don't want to die over this position. Okay, one's red. This is an angle I could use sneakily. It's a Flores, right? Team is getting aggressive, I'm gonna push up with him. I got him. See? You see like Hold on. Where's the last guy at? Nice. Nice. I see that Oryx is literally going in like Hill Mary style. So like, okay, I'm gonna I wanna match, like I said, or like last round, you wanna match your teammates' body language, and then you can get his re I got his refrag. You know, it was just it's just always gonna yeah, just be the chance to collapse. Hard, like bakery push, the shield. Yes, yes. I'm gonna go Maverick again if they go there again. Just take sight hard. Um, I got about small bait. But yeah, overall, I mean, Cheddar literally just won us around by like getting those free picks earlier. That's a play. I don't know. They was letting him walk around everywhere. Bug, you should go out on there like Finko. We have enough to burn. But yeah, we're nine and four right now. We're performing well. This is good. All right, their kitchen. Let's do the Baker take. Give it uh, Nomad for the flank. Hard Breacher, Maverick, Buck. Perfect, honestly. All right. Like I said, guys, like last round, just like, just take Bakery. I'm going to Mav open the wall. Get stuff off the wall. We're good. I kind of want to bring, bring Ace instead of Thermite. Could you bring Ace instead of Thermite? If possible. It's okay if it doesn't though. I would just say that just in case if like it's a little risky to go up against the wall to open it up, but we'll be alright. Gotta watch for the spawn peaks, especially on a 4-4, four, 4-3. Four, four, Default cam gone. Watch for the always watch for these peaks. Like I think there's someone shot out that window. Jesus, I wanna shoot down this barricade. I don't wanna shoot my teammate though. Oh, that's unlucky. Lost our buck. Yo, bakery might be free, bro. Yo, bakery's good. Prep is also good. I'm gonna go ahead and spray fire these angles here so I can get up close. Okay, I can start mapping for pressure holes. Now they're not gonna wanna walk into prep anymore because I made these holes now. Gotta make them large enough so I can burn through. Is there a shield? Alright, there might. Let's get this. Flanking small prep right now. Or flanking prep prep or uh bakery small bake. Nice. Uh I'm stuck here above you. Bottom round son. Come on, man. Uh, oh. He's kitchen double with thermite. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, this is three by two. All right. True. Yeah, we should we should go we should go here. Uh, I honestly have bad vibes about kitchen, so I feel like we're gonna get wiped. I'm gonna go. Can someone else bring Cade? Uh, maybe like a Malusi. Possibly. I want to bring Malusi just because, you know, it's good for like any crouch walkers. Just put him like back whiskey and like small bake for like crouch walkers. Okay. Last round. Uh, probably by like the double door. Alright. Um, yep. Yeah. All I really need to do here is. Where's the drone at? Nice drone spot. I've never seen that before. All I really need to do is like 4 4 overtime is just another round, bro. Like, there's no reason to get nervous. No need to know any of that. But you need to make sure you're not making any like beginner mistakes this round. Because this round means more than any other round in the game. But yeah, like, if you ever get nervous about 4 4 overtime, just think about it like 0 0, like the game just started. Just think about it like that, and just like, you know. Just, just win, you know? Do whatever it takes to win. No need to, no need to try something that you've never done before. You know, same cage spot. Oh, we didn't reinforce this middle wall. Okay. Got it though. Hey, at least we reinforced Freezer this time though. They're hitting big pretty hard. I'm gonna, this initial, initial time to collect drones that anything that comes in here. Just a little bit, you know, keep it the pressure, like not fully giving them up, but you know, sending some shots in. How many roamers do we have? Uh, just make sure they don't come whiskey side. Careful of that. This Jaeger needs to watch her back. I need to play close to this wall. I also want to be careful of back whiskey side. Looks like they're trying to get the K-Claw off, but they can. I'm gonna keep watching for Flores drones. Maverick's back whiskey. I'm gonna let Cheddar hold on to that guy. I'm gonna keep, just keep looking around, you know? Keep an active. I'll wall bang the ability here and there. Yeah, there's no reason for me to over -peak. I just need to... Remember, they have to plan. Pushing in. Pushing in. Oh. I think they have Maverick. Fuck. We might need to get aggressive here. I think we'll be fine. Nice pick. Maverick's about to go for the wall. Nice. Oh, Cheddar's going huge, bro. Huge Cheddar. Alright, we're good. We're good. 4v1. Wow, Cheddar. Cheddar went huge that round, bro. Oh my goodness. With the Roni with 16 bullets. Hey, that's what we need. That's what we need after a round like that. <laughs> the clip of his life, bro. What a game. What a game. Yeah. Wow. If I lost that to a goal in one, that would be very, very bad. Plus 55. And that is the educational commentary for Plat 2 Solo Q1 Cafe. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new.